let's try to understand the concept of elasticity mathematically. Now, when we talk about price elasticity of demand, let's denote the demand by capital Q. So price elasticity for this capital Q is essentially percentage change. I will write CH for change. Percentage change in Q upon percentage change in P or simply price. Now there's another way to denote this. That is just write the formula for percentage change which is change upon original into 100. So this will be your change which is delta. So delta of Q upon Q into 100 divided by delta of P upon P into 100. Now you can simply cancel out these guys and you will be left out with delta Q by Q upon delta P by P. So simply you can say rather than just percentage change even the fractional change ratio has the same meaning which is the elasticity or price elasticity of demand in this particular case. Now the moment I write delta it should strike in your brain that there is going to be some amount of calculus coming over here. There is some amount of D coming over here. So this delta is for a finite change. So let us say this is my demand and this is my Q1 over here and this is my Q2. So in this case this will be your delta Q right and the price change will be the vertical gap. This will be your delta P. But what if your change is very small? Let's say you're moving from this point to this point which you can't even observe on this diagram because it's so near to each other. So that small small thing can be written as when my change is small I will write this thing as dq by q upon dp by p and the moment we venture into the land of multivariate calculus this will change from d to del del q upon q by del p upon p but the idea remains the same i need to measure the uh, very small fractional change in q upon very small fractional change in p and that ratio is your elasticity and for this particular case price elasticity so let's just go with this formula and let's try to understand some more ideas about this formula so we understood that the price elasticity can be written directly as del q by q by del p by p. Now there is one thing which you must remember about uh, differentiation that if I differentiate log of x with respect to x this will be your 1 upon x. What does this mean? This means that d of log x is equal to 1 by x dx. Now I can safely use this formula and write in place of dq upon q as d log or ln. I will simply write ln. Over here when I say log I, I meant log to the base e or ln. So this is ln. So d of ln q and similarly I can write over here as d of ln p. Elasticity is simply the ratio of differential of the logarithm of q and differential of the logarithm of p. So when we are talking about price elasticity this is equal to dq upon q by dp upon p which is equal to d ln q by d ln p which is also equal to this guy over here dq upon dp so i can write this thing as 
डी क्यू अपॉन डी पी एन टू पी बाय क्यू सो ओवर हियर दिस थिंग इज अनदर वे टू राइट द प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी नाउ यू कैन सेफली रिकॉल दिस फर्स्ट टर्म दिस फर्स्ट टर्म इज योर डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ क्यू विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू पी राइट सो इट्स नथिंग बट द स्लोप ऑफ क्यू वर्सेज पी डायग्राम क्यू वर्सेज पी ग्राफ इन प्लेस ऑफ डी क्यू अपॉन पी आर राइट डी पी अपॉन क्यू इन वर्स सो दिस विल बी पी बाय क्यू इन टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय डी पी अपॉन डी क्यू ना ओवर हियर आई एम टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मैथमेटिकल लिबर्टीज बट बियर विथ मी बिकॉज जनरली यू के नॉट डायरेक्टली फ्लिप ओवर थिंग्स इन कैलकुलस बट I can do it over here because right now I'm just governed with the idea of differentials and ratios. Okay, so what is the significance of this? Significance of this is that elasticity is dependent upon the price and quantity ratio and the inverse of the slope. So how can you denote this? So let us say you have a demand graph this is your q and this is your p so you can calculate the slope very easily at all the points so put the slope over here and you can also know the pq values from this graph so this is q this is p so plug in over here you will get the idea of elasticity at all the points now you can see that over here this is a straight line so my slope is going to be constant so this Thing the second term over here one by d p upon d q is going to be constant, but what about p by q? P by q is not generally going to be constant because over this line p by q can change, right? So if p by q is changing, this elasticity would not remain the same. Now let's try to understand what is the idea when we have p by q constant. So when you take p by q as some constant is equal to k. your p is going to be q times k right which is like a linear from the origin so your p has to be something like this so let me just draw it from the point over here only so this is just one single point on the demand curve so if you have to have a constant price elasticity that is going to be just at a single point if your demand is linear in nature like this downward sloping linear you just have one point for a single value of price elasticity which goes on to say that for a straight line demand downward sloping demand the price elasticity is never going to be the same at any two points right now the reason is that i have a slope component and i have also a ratio of p by q right but the slope component is same so the elasticity is just governed by p by q so think about it a, a, a bit more intuitively now so if your p is greater right for the same value of q you will have a greater elasticity so what does this thing mean so i need to have the same slope same q right but i need to have a higher p how, how will that happen just think about it you have the same slope you have the same q but you have a higher p so at this point the elasticity is going to be higher and as you keep on rising above the elasticity will keep on rise uh, keep on increasing on this line and as you keep on going down sorry it has to be parallel as you keep on going down the elasticity will continuously decrease which is pretty intuitive because as you go up your demand increases right this is like a shock in your demand positive shock negative shock so definitely your elasticity should increase for that particular value of quantity uh, where you are at currently right so this is one aspect about the price elasticity now what about the range of values of price elasticity let's try to look at that so let's just summarize this this is one formula second formula and the third formula is 
p by q into 1 by dp upon dq right now this is the more versatile formula which you could use for your intuitive understanding okay so let's try to understand the case when this guy will become zero when will this become zero this will become zero when your price elasticity is zero which means that you are not changing your demand based on the change in price when will that happen think about it if this is your demand curve q in that particular situation no matter what the price i give you you will have the same amount of q demanded so delta q will be zero which means dq will be zero which means elasticity is going to be zero what about the case when i have an elasticity of one one for one what i need is a situation when your p by q into one by dp upon dq is equal to one which is simply dp upon dq is equal to p by q now the third case interesting case would be when your elasticity is infinity or you can say that this is your highly elastic or perfectly elastic right so for perfectly elastic you will have this guy as infinity so denominator because these are finite numbers so denominator has to be tending towards zero so this is going to be your slope right or rather a line demand so when this is your demand and horizontal demand then in this particular case your elasticity is of infinite value or you can say uh, it's highly elastic so whatever quantity he is going to buy he will offer the same price or rather he will buy everything at the same price because he has a highly elastic or perfectly elastic uh, kind of a uh, demand so your zero was inelastic one was unit elastic and infinity when you have a flat demand that is your perfectly elastic or highly elastic right so this was an intuitive understanding of elasticity and price elasticity